I'm sorry. Really, that really, sounds really tough. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, speaking of uh, speaking of friendly and energetic, right? We got we got Dewan, we, we got, got Shroom and, and SDJ. And uh, <laughs> I would I would say it's it's kind of neat because they're probably one of the best teams that doesn't have a spacey on them. You know, they're they're chic falcon, but right, uh, right, very consistent team. They've been teaming for nearly literally ten years at this point. I mean, I think they started teaming around 2014. Apex, Apex 2014. I remember was the first time I played against them. Hey, Team uh, KFC, uh, Korean fried chicken. Uh, is that is that their tag? Yeah, I think so. I love it. I, I mean it. that 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 is a genre of food. Korean that fried chicken, du double fried chicken, very good. You gotta fry it twice. You gotta fry it twice. The chicken's so nice, they fried it twice. Mm -hmm. And um, the yeah, I mean Chango and I think Chango especially is. It's really funny actually. I remember I think it was Battle of DC three. I literally played. I, I, I might have been telling you about this that I played Chango in doubles. Me and Lovitz were teaming. We we played Chango in doubles, and in the next round we played <laughs> uh, Dewan and, and Johnny. So oh really? Funny really? That's that, funny. Yeah, they're all almost everyone on the screen here. Huh. Um, but yeah, I would say, wow, amazing job to Blue Team right now, just kind of in the lead. Dewan already having lost two stocks, even even with only a minute. I mean, not just kind of. They're they're solidly in the lead right now. Uh, also, striking to Dreamland, you know, traditionally kind of tough right. um, against a Jigglypuff team. So we'll see how Red Team handles it. Like, yeah, one thing is going to be like taking those stocks off of the Jigglypuff in particular. Yeah. You don't have that kill power other than um, Falcon's knee, which can be kind of hard to land sometimes, right? Yeah, especially on, uh, on Dreamland, right? It's just exemplified here. I mean, I think the way Sheik is going to get the kills is like the Mewtwo King style, where you just kind of assassinate them, right? Mm -hmm. if, you can, if you can isolate the fox in the corner and get Ooh. some low percent KOs. Big edge guard opportunity. Yeah, I think you just hold the ledge here. Oh. oh my goodness, the needle. So I think what needed to happen there probably is if they coordinate a little bit better, if one of the blue team members hawks the ledge and the other one stands on the stage right. to block the needle. But I think because there was a little bit of wires crossed, you know? Yeah, they were, they were both kind of hovering the, the yeah. edge right there, and it was like kind of a confusing situation. Right. Also, Chango, I think, was running out of jump, so it's it, that's just a tough one. Yeah. Sometimes you just make a, a verbal call. You know, you just say it out loud. I got ledge. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but um, uh, look at this. Chango and... Oh, my God. A B. B kill. Wow. Yes. I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever seen that happen to a Jigglypuff, let alone on Dreamland. Yeah, that is a re that's a that's rare one. There's crazy. certain moves that are uh, you just don't see them KO very often. Definitely not Uppy. Definitely not. Not on Dreamland. Not on Jigglypuff. They need. Oh. Okay, that's huge. And just like that, with that rest, the blue team is kind of back in it. They they really even this up. But if if Johnny's Ooh. able to get me here, doesn't get an E, but two uppers is still. Mm -hmm. And I don't think. No, oh, you no. You don't. Django. You don't edge guard your your teammate, and also Mega Man nodded. <laughs> yeah, that's like kind of funny. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Leave it to my teammate to edge off me. Yeah, you just gotta let go of the ledge there, right? If you if you do anything that's not letting go of the ledge, then the animation's oh gonna God. play. Even the ledge jump is gonna have enough edge hog frames to edge hog the fox. But if you let go, they will grab it. Right, right. But it looked like Chango had kind of I think he was trying to do it so fast that he might have messed his input up a little bit. Maybe or like was trying to not even get on the ledge and just protect it for a little bit, you know, right. like maybe forward air in front of the ledge or something like needles, that. But Right, I think the needles coming at Chango might have made that a little bit confusing. Um, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, that was a rest Whoa. opportunity. Didn't that go was, for it right there. That was a Fox up smash, up smashing everybody. Yeah. Everyone got up smash there. I think including some needles, too. I think Chango's got a really good... Um, sense for doubles. I think this team, you know, I gotta say, this team makes a lot of sense to me. Um, this Mega Man, I think, you know, Mega Man's Fox, pretty fast, pretty, like, down for there to be chaos. Right. And then I think Chango is just gonna kind of float around outside of the, you know, the combat zone and, like, a, and try to just pick up the pieces with the rest or something. And I think that style is really, really effective. So no surprise to me that they're still able to keep this close against the higher seeded team here mm -hmm. in S2J and Shrooms. I mean, here's the thing. We saw what happened with Cody and, uh, oh, oh no, missed yeah. the up smash. Yeah, but you know, just didn't turn around. Mm -hmm. I think there, honestly, when, Ooh. oh, and that's bad DI on that knee. That is tough. The Chango nice. coming in, coming in clutch. Oh, that's just excellent teams. Really good, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Chango tried to go for the save there again, but that might, okay. 
Yeah, scary stuff, I think, when you're trying to edge guard a puff in doubles, and then if they kind of get back, I feel like you just kind of let it go. Definitely, definitely. You're just not going to get that much. All right. Still still even game right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I miscounted. Okay. Uh, stock down, but, you know, not not out yet. Maybe even but in terms of morale. Oh, oh this could be a Falcon Punch. Yeah, that's that going to be it. That is going to kill. Mm -hmm. Jeez. You know, unfortunate spawn there for Mega Man. I think if Mega Man had the left spawn, he might have been able to come in and actually protect his teammate, but just spawned a little bit too far from where that Falcon Punch was happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, look at this right now. Sh Dewan, uh Shroom doing a much better job, I think, than game one of just surviving. And I think that's one of the things she can do really, really well in doubles. Survive. Just hold stocks. Yeah, look. In singles, that would have been an easy edge guard from the puff. But in doubles, how do you edge guard Sheik? Her recovery's too slow. The teammate's going to come over and help out. Mm -hmm. You're invincible for a little bit. Gives them time to, like, actually come over. Right. And if you can never up beyond the stage, you're probably fine. Your teammate can even run over and jab you. Yep. You know, break you out of your lag. Ooh, yeah. Blue team getting a little suffocated by the edge right now, um, which is especially not good, because, like, you know, you have a puff on there. Right. And a falcon um, on the other team. Ah, uh, okay. Now, is Mega Man going to take the stock? Yes. But I guess you may as well. Um, I mean, to be realistic, you're probably not winning the game either way. Uh, but... So this is this is just like... Okay, go, go goes for the, the Wizzy. Yeah, but, that's the Johnny Ooh, the double, double stuff. The double dead. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, th th this is kind of like this is kind of like what we saw with um, with J Mook and Cody versus Bonfire and Younger, right? Game one, it close. Sure it sure is. And now there's the adaptation, maybe turning it up a little bit, taking it a little more seriously, all of that stuff. So, um, you know, game game three is really the test here. Yeah. Right? Are they going to go back to, to to I guess Dreamland? Right? Their their first stage. I, don't I feel like know. that's possible. That honestly might be. Might be one of their better stages. What's that? Oh no, just like Dreamland. Oh, Dreamland. Yeah, you right? know, it's it's to the point where I was kind of even wondering, like, how how did Dreamland end up being the, the stage strike? Right. 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 You know, you kind of expect it to be. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, Chango really could use some rest here. No, but but to your point, I yeah, like Dreamland. I think for for Red Team, like I think both players really like the open space, yeah. right? They they kind of like playing neutral in that sense, playing the long game. Ooh. So I think that that's like one of the trade-offs is like they get that benefit, but it's, yeah, it might be a little bit harder to get the KOs on Puff, but double knee, you know, who cares? Yeah, and you know, it's kind of, I, I really appreciated the decision-making from Mega Man there. I think the timing was just a little bit wrong because Mega Man was trying to come in and wake up uh, Chango with a downer, a move that has no knockback. The problem was it actually just locked them both in place <laughs> for the knee. Yeah, you're stuck in hit lag right so there. I think, so like, I think what you got to do is like see that the Falcon's coming in with a knee and then commit yourself to like, okay, I'll let him get the knee off, but I'm nice. going to downer the puff out of the knee's knockback. Mm -hmm. But it's that's mm -hmm. I think that's the beauty and also the struggle of doubles is like that's the kind of decision making that's really, you have to do it on the fly. It's very hard to have that sort of stuff labbed out. And I think it just comes with experience. I mean, yeah, doubles is so fast that like, I mean, in singles, you're playing a lot of, like, reactable situations. In doubles, I, th I think you have to guess a lot more. You do. Right. You do. So, it's, Some, yeah, it's a different skill set. Doubles, I think, it's, it's to me, it's a lot more obvious in, t in singles. When you lose, you kind of, like, know why you lost the game. It's like, okay, like, you know, they were punishing my da-da-da, you know, whatever. In doubles, sometimes you can be losing, and you don't really quite know why, you know? Because I think the decision-making can be a lot more macro. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, oh, how was I positioning relative to my teammate? How was our team positioning relative to theirs? Uh, who was controlling the platforms? You know, like, there's a lot of subtleties that I think are tough to navigate around. There's just so much going on at all times, too. Yeah, it's, it's like, so it's fun. both macro and micro, I feel like. There's just, there's just a lot. So there's many lot. variables. Oh, that shine rest? Love it. Okay. I mean... <laughs> if they're going to make something happen, they're going to need at least a couple more of those. Yeah. But Oh, my goodness. And Chango trying to go down there to find his teammate. <laughs> but unfortunately, Fox just falls too fast. Puff literally could not make it down there in time. No, yeah. I, I feel like um, with Chango and Mega Man, they had a lot of really good ideas that kind of backfired because they're just like ever so slightly late or just the positioning was slightly off. I feel like with a little bit more experience, I think that team could, could definitely do a lot of work. And like you said, I think the, 
the, the team composition makes a lot of sense, right? Like Mega Man, very technical, very clean, right? Just very comfortable scrapping, and then Chango can kind of play around all of that, all of that mess, right? Right. Um, I, I feel like it was just a, an experience thing. And also just like, I don't know, Shroomed and, Shroomed and S2J. Executed a little better. Mm -hmm. Just I think game overall one, solid. It felt like the difference between game one and the rest of the set beyond, uh, I don't know, potentially Shroomed and S2J stepping it up is I felt like, uh, well, Chango was getting rests. And maybe that was a result of them playing a little less tight in game one versus the rest of the set, where mm -hmm. they, you know, it felt like they were kind of on top of things more and more in control. Uh, but that, you know, really shows to go, yeah, you know, you, you really need to get those rests as puffing teams, and I think that as the other team, you really need to mitigate the situations where they can go for rests. Yeah. Yeah, I think when you have a Jigglypuff on, on, on your team, like, playing around rest is, is honestly, like, <laughs> like a really good strategy overall, right? That's yeah. like one yeah, of your right biggest there, strengths. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just a little bit yeah, there. Somebody, somebody got up early. Oh, the up B kill. Oh, and the, the slap. Bad, the yeah. bad left all. It's just a lot of little. I mean, s you know what? What you would think are like small preventable situations that that ended up having like a big effect on the stock count, yeah. and, and that's just tough. Oh, Oof, oh I that missed nice. that the first time. Okay, so drill shine across the stage into rest. Yeah, really good stuff. Into grab and rest. Grab rest, sure. Yeah. And then, <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Only Johnny would go for something like that. That's crazy. Yeah, and okay. here's some uh, some nice uh, mm -hmm. teamwork and action here from Chango. Letting Mega Man come back. Yeah, Mega and that Man. drill there to stall out, um, stall out Johnny there, and oh, Ooh. you know, I think he was going for the double rest. Yeah. Right. Potentially. But got zero rest instead. That's that's super Felt unfortunate. Like need, yeah, at that point you feel like maybe you need to make something happen. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that right was there, nice. But Johnny with the save. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, yeah, that slap. Mm -hmm. And then Johnny Ooh. gets the back air there. Mm -hmm. One of the few um, successful moonwalks that we've seen. Right? It's we don't see that much anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Um, when so I think of, like, moonwalk bears, I think of Mango will definitely go for them. Um, and in terms of the Falcons, I don't know, none for sure. That's true. None, yeah, none being none one. Of, quite a moonwalker. I feel like when Mango goes for it, it's, I feel like I, so it used to be when he's like beating someone so bad, he'll do it. But now I feel like I see it when it's just like, oh, the set's kind of over and he's kind of like just doing these like crazy, yeah, you know, it, it usually doesn't end up well when he starts doing moonwalks, but. It's nice with Falcon because you get so much distance mm. that it's, it's, it's really hard to see it coming. Um, you, as the, as the character recovering, a lot of the times it's kind of awkward to space around because you're like, I mean, they're not going to be able to make it out here. And, you know, think of the animation. It starts with them running the other way, right? The moonwalk yep. is them facing the other way. So you kind of think you see them run the other way, and you're like, oh, okay, they're not going to they're not gonna come out here 0 0.5 seconds later with the bear. Right. Uh, so it's just really awkward, I think, to um, predict in the space around. It's, it's, it's 